Recently I developed a need to send audio from one place to another wirelessly and surprisingly there really aren't that many options to accomplish such a feat. Prices vary from seller to seller but it seems the median price that you can find one of these for is around forty dollars give or take. But what's something that caught me by surprise was the mention of this brand name, Sane Sonic. I had purchased a Part 15 FM transmitter from a company, again, Sane Sonic, the AX-05B. And I noticed that the transmitter, while claiming to be licensed by the FCC, having an FCC ID number and being Part 15 compliant while operating at five-tenths of a watt or one-tenth of a watt, both capabilities were easily accessible through the built-in menu system, were, were obviously in gross non-compliance with the FCC's Part 15 regulations. You're only allowed about a 200-foot effective range, long-distance wireless video and audio transmission, strong anti-interference, multiple sets of channel selection to avoid routing wireless signal interference. I believe that's a bit of English right there. A wireless receiving image, colorful and stable, clear sound quality without noise, plug and play without software, DC 5 volts at 1000 milliamps, PAL and NTSC, dual channel so it supports stereo audio, and then it doesn't indicate whether this is a 2.4 gigahertz or 5.8 gigahertz model, and also the different ranges that these come with, and that usually is the main determining factor with the varying prices. The cheaper ones that accomplish 150 meters are significantly cheaper from those which can handle up to a 350 meter range. This one was listed, I believe, as either a 200 or 300 meter range, but we'll have to see, it, see that, and that's probably under line of sight circumstances. Don't want to run this intro out too long, but I had to get a bit more English in there for those who find it entertaining, as I do. Thank you so much for Choose Sane Sonic as your prefer preferred choice. It adopts an advanced wireless transmission scheme and has the advantages of a long transmission range, strong anti-interference and high mobility. It enables you to easily realize wireless sharing of HD AV data and enjoy ultra, ultra, I have no clue what they were trying to write here, ultra, old trammeled, untrammeled. Maybe they were going for unparalleled, I'm not too sure. Hi-fi audio and visual effects. The particular seller from which I purchased this included a nice little leaflet explaining how you were to go about leaving positive feedback and also advising you not to attempt to contact them via return this item. It claims, please do not select this. This button is not accepted by our store. Well, that's... That's a bit of misinformation there. It's not their store, it's eBay's system. And eBay will of course accept a request to return the item if there's something wrong with it, it wasn't as described, or if the seller has a return policy. So, it's not exactly 100% truthful. One of these is the transmitter and one of them is the receiver. And there's also a manual which will probably no doubt be host to some pretty, uh, interesting butchering of the English language. Press the channel switches. Can be free to choose transmission channel. Switch on when finished connection and never plug in or out at will. Please turn off the product if long time not use it. <laughs> and before discarding the box, you do well to double check. Make sure that you don't forget your RCA cables which do feel pretty rugged. They're certainly not the cheapest ones I felt. And you do get one for the transmitter and one for the receiver, which is a nice touch. You don't have to hunt around for your own cables. Dip switches are used with configuring the channel you'd wish to broadcast on. Looks as though there are provisions for an external antenna connection. That or this model doesn't come with one, but you probably could find a model which does allow you to use an external antenna, stereo audio and video composite inputs or outputs such as it may be, as well as the 5 volt DC input, power switch, which is nice, although I'd probably just end up disconnecting it from the 
the wall outlet to shut these units off and your permanently fixed antenna. You can remove the two screws which hold this base to the unit and then rest the unit vertically inside this indentation as they've indicated in the manual. And here is the Sony DCR TRV103. Uh, the composite cables are going into its composite output and it's set to focus in on that Sony Trinitron computer monitor and the transmitter itself. So you get an idea of what it's looking at. Here I am, thankfully where there's heat, so I don't need to have frozen hands while making this video, but well, we can see one of the problems that we've just run into. The signal keeps going in and out, which is one of the problems with analog broadcasting, although it is better than digital's all or nothing. And as I'm sure you can see, playing with the antenna definitely, oh, looks like we lost the signal now, definitely looks to improve reception although only marginally it still has some analog anomalies now one of the primary uses these transmitters have is as a wireless studio to transmitter link for small part 15 FM and AM radio stations whose studio locations are otherwise inaccessible by wires or at least inconvenient so this is a very usable way to get the audio from your studio to your transmitter location with little to no wires and other issues that may arise with having to drill holes in a building but uh, I'm not hearing any audio that's because once again we're using a television that has no functional speakers so what I'll do because there's not much audio to even listen to the camera's just gonna pick up ambient noise of the building <laughs> This is Admiral Stereo, the pure sound of stereo reproduced for your listening enjoyment as only Admiral quality built stereo can do. Every recorded note, each instrument and the musician's performance is the very same as the original performance. Only Admiral's advanced engineering could result in realism so true to life you have to hear it to believe it. This recording was made to enable you to enjoy in person the amazing experience of Admiral's solid-state stereophonic style.